right. So just got a iffy signal. It was uh, only hitting one way, and uh, you know I'm kind of not finding much today. So I thought I'd I dig it since I found um, Indians and and barbers here before and, and Mercs and Rosies too. But um, you know when I in a place where I found old coins, uh, you know. I'll, be much more likely to dig and I'm glad I did I just uh, pulled out a, a barber dime I'm not sure the, the date uh, looks like a 1913 pull it out of the hole get some get some light um, definitely uh, definitely well worn oops so sorry about the, the glare uh, 1913 and doesn't look like there's a, a mint mark, but but I will uh, give you a better idea of that when I get home and clean it up. But cool, so I haven't uh, found a an old diamond or an old coin in a while, so this is awesome. I'll get back to you guys if I find anything else. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, it's been uh, it's probably been about 15 minutes since I found that barber and uh, got. Got something in the hole here. You can see it's coming up as a 1346. Um, so might be silver. Uh, I figured I'd pop it out on camera. Sorry about the glare. I don't, I, I don't even. I don't know if it is or not, but um, so it's in this clump. Apologize if you probably can't see any of that. Up. Oh. It is a Zinkin. All right, or maybe not a Zinkin. Uh, Eighty-two. Wow. Okay. Well. That was a, a good uh, six or seven inches down there. Sorry about that. That's why I, I tend not to do uh, live digs because they usually turn out like that. But I thought I just had good luck with that barber, so I thought I'd give it a try. But uh, anyways, I'll get back with you if I find anything else. Hey, guys. I uh, figured I'd let you know I just got a, a buffalo nickel. Um, can't really read a date on it maybe when I clean it up at home but um, pretty cool uh, I think this is only the third or fourth one I've found this year um, so cool I'll let you know uh, when I clean it up if there's a date Thanks. all right literally less than five feet this is where I found the the buffalo scroll over and about I don't know six inches down I just got a Indian head penny um, Looks like a 1909. Um, 1909, no mint mark. I think that's a 1909. I'll have to clean it up a little better when I get home. But uh, cool. Um, this has turned out to be a really good day for me. I uh, haven't found many old coins recently, so this is pretty awesome. Thanks for watching. Right, do a quick wrap up here. Um, so out there for probably two and a half hours, and you know, didn't found just short of a dollar in clad. Um, there's the the better stuff. So the first thing is uh, is this bullet. Um, not too sure what it's from, but it's um, it rang up like a penny, and it was you know five or six inches down there. It's clearly been fired. Um, but uh, it didn't hit anything, but you can tell the, uh, the, the grooves there, I mean, it, you know, show it's been fired. Um, I found this little piece of jewelry. I'm not sure if it's a toe ring or what it is. I mean, you can see compared to a penny, it's, it's pretty small. Um, but it does say, let's see if we can get that. It does say 925 there on the inside. Um, so whatever it is, it's silver. I uh, found three wheat pennies. The oldest is uh, 1935, and then uh, I think 
think a 40, that's a 47, I think, and then a, a 51. And then the, um, the Buffalo nickel, um, no date on that, uh, no date, no mint mark, um, but uh, still cool find. And I love the coin. I wish they cleaned up better, but, um, you know, I'll take them. The uh, Indian is a, is a 1900. I know I said I thought it was a 1909 when I um, read it out in the field. Um, unfortunately not, because I didn't realize until I got home that that's a, a pretty key date. <laughs> but uh, still, 1900, it's not in terrible condition. You can't um, read any, anything on the, uh, the headdress, really. But it's, uh, you know, it's not bad for being 112 years old. I'll take it. And then the uh, the barber dime uh, 1913. There's no no mint mark, uh, so it's a 1913 plain. Um, you know, not uh, not bad. You can uh, cannot read Liberty or anything. Can't see the headdress, uh, but overall beautiful coin. Uh, not a bad day hunting. Um, so you know, silver coin, Indian head, a buffalo. Three wheats, a piece of silver jewelry, uh, an old bullet, and some, some clad. So thanks for watching, and I'll get back with you when I find something else.